Thank you, Council President, and good afternoon, everyone. Last week, Majority Leader Jones and I introduced a bill proposing an extension of the Mixed Income Neighborhoods Overlay and TOD Overlay across a stretch of West Market Street that he and I share. We are taking this step to be proactive about ensuring that affordable housing will continue to exist along this vital transit-oriented corridor for decades to come. I am also pleased to report that within the existing mixed income neighborhoods overlay, there are currently permits in process that will create 325 new housing units. These permits range from projects as small as 10 units, men's floor, and as high as 150 units. And because of men, these permits will generate 65 new affordable units, 42 in the third district and 23 in the seventh district. That means that within the first few months of its existence, the mixed income neighborhoods overlay will generate more genuinely affordable units than in the first three years of the optional mixed income housing section of the code citywide. I hope that this shows that um, this overlay does not halt development because some have challenged the legitimacy of men by demanding that it generate new homes within an unrealistically short time frame. I urge these skeptics to also measure the impact of traditional market rate real estate development on our neighborhoods. So let's pause and do that for a moment. Before men, rents in West Philadelphia surged by 200 to 300 percent, even as hundreds of units came online inside the overlays boundaries every year, almost none of them affordable. At the same time, gentrification and skyrocketing costs pushed half of the black population east of 52nd Street out of the 3rd District. And many developers prioritize milking as much profit out of our neighborhoods as possible, at the expense of working class black and brown residents whose families called West Philly home for generations. These are outcomes that also deserve to be scrutinized. And when they are, it becomes clear that the status quo was endangering the vitality of our neighborhoods. I created men as a pathway to ensure the market worked alongside rather than against our community. And today we're showing that men is doing just that. Because even after the reduction of the citywide tax abatement and rising construction costs and inflation, the real estate process inside the overlay continues. Ultimately, we must give the mixed income neighborhoods overlay time to work, but signs point in the right direction, and I could not be more excited. Even though 65 affordable homes and 260 market rate ones barely scratch the surface of the city's need, it's a welcome sign that the overlay will generate deeply affordable homes in some of West and Southwest uh, most high amenity neighborhoods and debunks the claim that no development is happening inside the overlay. Engaging in unfair, biased scrutiny of a policy that has been in effect for six months will do nothing to end our housing affordability crisis. What will is bold action. What will is partnership. What will is a commitment that all Philadelphians deserve a high quality place to live in a neighborhood of opportunity. I look forward to working with my colleagues, the community, and all willing stakeholders to do just that. Thank you.